This was another test of some um, super capacitor balancing circuitry. I'm um, trying a new circuit. Uh, before I did the diode circuit, um, and this time I'm trying the uh, 431 uh, shunt regulator with um, a tip 120 uh, power transistor and a, a PNP uh, transistor as a switch. So here on my uh, power supply I have 5.2 volts, 2 meters set up on both of these uh, 500 farad capacitors, if you can believe that from China. I don't believe they are, but we'll find out uh, how strong they are. So there's no nothing on the capacitors now. And on the breadboard, we have the, uh, the shunt regulator right there. And then we have a voltage divider of um, 12K and 180K. 180K is on the bottom right here. So then we have a 680 ohm resistor, which is right there. And then we have a the PNP transistor here uses a switch which is going to send current and uh, turn this uh, tip 120 transistor on. Uh, we have two uh, two one watt resistors of uh, one ohm in parallel, which gives it about you know 0.5 uh, um, ohms of resistance. So and then uh, so this circuit is in series with this side of the breadboard. This circuit. The same exact circuit that's just in series with that uh, red wire you see here. Okay, so let's uh, turn this thing on. This is the, actually the first time I'm trying this with these big capacitors. This this circuit worked perfectly fine with the uh, with these smaller capacitors, which are 50 farad capacitors. So I'm, now I'm trying them with the 500 farad capacitors. And my power this power supply can only do three amps, so we're going to watch the uh, current as these things turn on. Okay, as you can see, that's my power supply is already sucking up all the amps here. Uh, the capacitors are charging up, so let's take a look over here. So we got see three amps going in right now into the circuit at 1.5 volts, and each capacitor, this one is 4.4, and this one is 0.5. So let's take a watch that a little bit. Okay, I don't know how long it's been, maybe a minute. It's uh, it's uh, looks like about one volt. It seems like to be balancing so far, and it's taking every bit of uh, my power supply. All three amps is going in there. Pretty soon the fan will probably come on that power supply. So this circuit I'm, I'm doing is actually a modification of this circuit here. Which, but this is the one that he, where he uh, reverse engineered, I guess, uh, a, a commercial um, charging capacitor uh, um, balancing circuitry. It's like the little round uh, PCB. This is the first time I've used this, this chip, which is a 431 uh, regulator. And I think it's pretty cool. So I bought a whole bag of them. They're really, really cheap. You can get them at the different places. I bought mine at Tada. Is what I bought. It's been about four minutes. Um, a little over halfway there, and my power supply's fan just came on. So, um, if those were really 500 farad capacitors, which I doubt that they're really true to the label, this cheap Chinese crap. But let's say they were, then that's uh, two of them in series. It's uh, 250 farads, I believe, of uh, capacitance, which is a lot for a five volt uh, supply. So after I get these things fully charged up, I'm going to uh, disconnect everything and I'm going to time how long it takes for them to discharge with the circuit, uh, leakage-wise. And then um, I'll probably be making some PCBs for it. So I made a PCB for the circuit. Um, and I got it all charged up at 5.1 volts. Everything works pretty good. I checked the, the individual voltage of each capacitor to make sure it wasn't um, overcharged or anything. So here I'm going to test this out again for you. Okay, here's the back side of the board. I unplugged it from the power supply. It's got about 5 volts on here, and I'm going to show you that each of the capacitors is not over the 2.7 volts. 2.5 to 2. 2.4. So they're not anywhere near the 2.7. And what do we got for total voltage here? 5.04. So I think the circuit works pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. So you, since it works with two, you could put you know six of them to get the 14, 16 volts or whatever. Uh, you know how much power you need. Now they do have a quite a high leakage current. These these caps, they are cheap caps. I'm sure they're not 500 farads. Um, they will leak fast. I'm gonna leave this uh, overnight um, with nothing uh, attached to it. But then I'm going to uh, see how much current is in these things. So there's 5 volts right now, so the next uh, test I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, unplug it so there's nothing, no load on it whatsoever and leave it overnight and see what the kind of voltage I get after, you know, 8-12 hours, whatever. 